Good day everyone. Once again, welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to discuss determining the relationship of volume between a rectangular prism and a pyramid. Well, meron tayong different ways on how we can determine the relationships of one solid figure to another solid figure. Isa dito ay yung paggamit ng actual object kung saan they are of the same dimensions. Ibig sabihin nun, dapat pareho ang kanilang base, pareho ang kanilang height, o di kaya yung length, width, and height ay pare-pareho na sukat. So, another is, pwede namang gamitin yung formula nila na kung saan we will compare their formula para nang sa ganun, malaman natin ang kanilang relationship. At yung pangalawa, ang pipiliin ng sir kasi nga, walang actual uh, object na gamit ang sir sa ngayon. So, if you are ready, then let us now begin. Okay, at first, let us compare the relationship of volume of a rectangular prism and volume of a pyramid, specifically rectangular pyramid. If you look at the formula, volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height, while the volume of a rectangular pyramid is one-third of the length times width times the height, or length times width times height all over 3. But sometimes, ang ginagamit dun sa volume of a rectangular pyramid is one-third of the base times height, wherein base is obviously equivalent to length times width. Okay? Now, let us compare the two formula. Yung formula ng volume of a rectangular prism and volume of a rectangular pyramid. If you notice, dito sa rectangular prism, length times width times height. Meaning to say, kapag itong volume formula ng rectangular prism ay i-multiply natin sa one-third. Okay? So, magiging na siyang length times width times height all over 3 na kung saan magiging na siyang katulad ng volume of a rectangular pyramid. Okay? Samantala, dito naman sa kabilang banda, pahiin muna natin to. kapag naman itong volume of a rectangular pyramid, okay, na length times width times height divided by 3, ay i-multiply natin sa 3, we can cancel this denominator 3 and this 3, magiging na siyang length times width, okay, times height, na kung saan siya naman ay magiging volume of a rectangular prism. So, kung babalikan natin, kanina, yung rectangular prism, i-multiply natin sa one third para maging volume formula ng rectangular pyramid. Samantala, itong rectangular pyramid, kapag i-multiply naman natin sa 3, magiging na siyang volume of a rectangular prism. Sa makatuwid, the relationship between the volume of a pyramid and prism is that when a prism and a pyramid have the same base and height, the volume of the pyramid is one-third of the volume of a prism. And the volume of the prism is three times of the volume of a pyramid. So, ito ngayon ang relationship ng rectangular prism and rectangular pyramid. For you to understand the relationship of the two better, let us have a sample. The volume of the given prism is 192 cubic units. What is the volume of a rectangular pyramid? A while ago, sabi natin, the volume of the pyramid is one-third of the volume of a prism. If you look at the problem, ang hinahanap ay volume of a rectangular pyramid. So, lagay natin, volume of a rectangular pyramid. Okay? is now equivalent to what? Sabi natin, it should be one-third of the volume of a prism, which is 192 cubic, okay, cubic units. So, yan yan, cubic units, okay? Now, 
we can cancel 3 and 192 by 3. So, 192 divided by 3 at first meron tayong 6 kung saan sobra ng isa magiging 12 divided by 3 so 4. So, we have 64. Ibig sabihin ng mga bata, 192 divided by 3 is 64. So, our new problem now is 1 times 64. Obviously, 1 times 64 is 64. Na kung saan, meron tayong cubic, okay, cubic units. At syempre pa, ito ang volume of what? A rectangular, sulat na natin, okay, volume of a rectangular pyramid. So, this is our answer. Ano nga ang sagot? 64 cubic units ang volume of a rectangular pyramid kung ang volume ng rectangular prism is 192 cubic units. Another example, the volume of the given pyramid is 64 cubic units. What is the volume of a rectangular prism? At this point, ang hinahanap natin ay volume of a rectangular prism. Na kung saan ang ibinigay naman ay volume of a rectangular pyramid which is equivalent to 64 cubic units. Kanina, this is a relationship of volume between a rectangular prism and a pyramid. Ang sabi natin, the volume of the prism is 3 times the volume of a pyramid. So again, the volume of a rectangular prism, okay, lagyan na natin rectangular prism para hindi masyadong mahaba, is equivalent to what? 3 times the volume of a pyramid. So since the volume of a pyramid here is 64, so it is now 64. Then again, cubic, Units. So, tatandaan natin mga bata na kapag volume ang pinag-uusapan, palagi ang dapat nating maging unit ay cubic units o yung tinatawag natin to the third power. Okay? Now, if you notice, bakit cubic units ang inilalagay ng sir? Kasi nga, hindi naman na-specify kung siya ba ay centimeter, meter, inches o kung anong unit of measure. Kaya kapag walang naka-specify na unit of measure, Ang tamang ilagay ay yung word na cubic units. Now, if we continue, what is 3 times 64? At first, 3 times 4 is 12. Carry 1. And then, 3 times 6 is 18 plus 1 is 19. So, it is 192 what? cubic units. Okay? Kung mapapansin ninyo, ito yung kabaliktaran ng problem na nauna. Kanina. So, ibig sabihin nito mga bata, papag pala meron kang, let's say, sabihin natin figure na rectangular pyramid, yung tatlong beses, ano, tatlong laman ng rectangular pyramid upang mapuno mo yung rectangular prism. Yun ang kailangan mo gawin. Ano, tatlong beses ng rectangular pyramid para ang rectangular prism ay Mapuno. So, yun ang ibig sabihin nun na the volume of the prism is three times of the volume of a pyramid. Okay? Klaro? Klaro.